Hi viewers, welcome to T4U Tutorials and this is my fifth tutorial on Flight Simulator X. In this tutorial we will learn the very basics of flight takeoff. In flight, flight, ta flight takeoff is a very easy thing. You can just follow my instructions and do it very easily. I have created a flight plan from Tokyo International to Kansai International. And my flight is Boeing 737-400. I have got my taxi clearance my I have clearance my taxi clearance I taxied my flight into the runway now I'm on the runway ready for takeoff so if you don't know how to taxi your flight please watch my fourth tutorial in which I have explained taxiing you can learn it very easily from there now now let us read the IFR transmission over here here they can see that fly runway heading climb and maintain 6000 which means that we need to make our flight ascent to 6000 after 6000 feet after takeoff for that let us hide the atc window press shift a and bring your 2d cockpit view here is the altitude hold selector increase it to 6000 and i have been i have set it to 6000 now the next step is to increase your speed hold selector to 250 knots because below 10,000 feet your fl your flight should only move below 250 knots so it's the allowed flight and here I have set this speed to 250 knots my third step is to increase your flaps to 5 here is the flap position indicator it is indicating to 0 you need to make it to 5 for that press F7 three times because when you press it one time you can make it to one press once again it's now to two degrees press the third time pressing the third time will make it to five degrees so my flight is ready for takeoff now I have done all the three steps I have first step I have increased my altitude 6000 feet second step I have set it to two, my speed I have set my speed to 250 knots and as a third step I have done my I have increased my flap into 5 degrees down so it's all set for the go and I am going to get the IFR clear I am going to get the takeoff clearance press A and bring back your virtual cockpit view press minus key on your keyboard to zoom out a little like this if if it's not getting zoomed out double click on the screen and then press your minus key press shift plus down arrow key to look below here you can see your control levers and so this is your virtual cockpit and we are ready for go so take bring up your ATC window tune to Tokyo Tower or the respective tower in which airport you are and then request for takeoff clearance so they have given us the takeoff clearance Acknowledge the takeoff clearance. We have got our takeoff clearance. Now hide the ATC window. And so let us, I will explain you what we will be doing while the takeoff. We will first increase the throttle power to 100%. And once our flight speed, flight speed reaches 180 knots, we will just pull our lever back like this by pressing down arrow key you can bring it back by pressing up arrow key so this is you can control your levers by down arrow key and up arrow key so this is what we'll do and once we start climbing we will ready we will bring up our landing gears by pressing G button on the keyboard and then we will we will engage the autopilot over here and then we will 
set our flaps to zero degrees. So we are here, we're going to start. Let us bring the throttle quadrant by pressing shift four. Here is your throttle power quadrant. You can increase your throttle power by pressing F3, pressing and holding F3. So let us make it to 25% initially by pressing F3, holding F3. So now you can see that my flight has started moving. Once it starts moving, press F4 and increase your throttle power to 100%. So my flight has gained the throttle power. Now let us have a view on the 2D cockpit view by pressing A. And here is my speed indicator. It is increase. It's keeping on increasing. It's now at 110 knots, 120 knots. Wait until you reach 180 knots. Press Shift A to your virtual cockpit view. Now press down arrow key since we have reached a 180 knots. Hold your down arrow key and you can see that our flight has started taking off. Bring your 2D cockpit view by pressing Shift A and engage your autopilot. Engage your altitude hold button. Hide this ATC window for now. Engage the auto throttle by pressing on it and then hold your speed. Now acknowledge the handoff. Now it sends its positive climbing rate, press G button so that you can see your landing gears are going up. Then set your flaps to zero by pressing F5. So you can see that your flaps are moving up. So it's all done. Here you can see that your auto throttle lever your throttle lever is moving automatically without doing anything which means that the computer is controlling your throttle power the autopilot is controlling your throttle power here the auto throttle the, the throttle will be controlled by the autopilot according to the speed given here as well as the altitude over here so i will explain you once again once you are ready for your takeoff with your takeoff clearance and then increase your throttle power to 100 percentage and your flight will start moving once your flight gains 180 knot speed rotate your flight nose up to 20 degrees by pressing down arrow key and once your flight starts moving up engage the autopilot master switch hold your altitude as well as your as well as your speed and bring up your landing gears set your flaps to zero if you have any doubts please ask me comment below i will help you out by creating a video for you or i will answer your question down there thanks for watching subscribe my channel and watch more videos or more tutorials on Flight Simulator X as well as other simulation games. Thanks for watching.